Have you got a blog for your online store? If not, you have to get one set up pronto. In today's video, I'll be going through why you need to have a blog for your online store and how to get one set up for your online store today. Hi, my name's Alicia, and here I share tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you turn what you love into what you sell. So in October of last year, Forbes released an article listing the top marketing trends for 2020. This list included shoppable posts, augmented reality, personalization, interactive posts, video content, and a few other trends. But the trend that stood out to me most was content marketing. The article reads, for years, content is king has been the axiom of digital marketing. As we move into 2020, it continues to be true. High quality content allows you to show your expertise and communicate with your customers from a place of authority. Your content is also what search engines provide to searches online. So continuing to produce high quality content is a must. So creating content marketing or a blog is a way for you to create authority in your market, to prove to your customers that you are the leader in your field. You may have heard around the block that blogs are dead, but this really couldn't be further from the truth. Good and valuable content can be seen as highly valuable, and by adding it to your store, you're more likely to attract the attention of your potential customers. And you don't have to think of your blog in the traditional sense either. Think of it more from the content point of view. Just like you would share details of your business or brand on social media, use your blog to create insights into your business. For example, if you were selling hair bows for young girls aged between one and five, let's say, could you create a blog post with a video tutorial demonstrating how to use the bows? Could you create a free download resource that lists the top five hair trends for young girls? Could you create a post listing details about the bows, like what fabrics you use, or maybe list what makes your bows special? What about a post to foster engagement and interaction? Could you create something where you post a few images of the different fabrics that you're thinking of creating the bows with, and then get your customers to choose their favorites, and then you could use them for your next product launch? The possibilities are endless here, but the key is to create amazing value to wow your potential customers. Okay, so now that you understand the importance of having a blog, let's run through the steps on how to add it to your Shopify store. Let's jump into my computer now and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so once you're logged into your Shopify dashboard, you'll want to head down here to where it says online store. Just click on that and it'll open up a drop down menu. Then you'll want to head down to where it says blog posts. So just click on blog posts. This will then open up your blog post screen. So to create your first blog post or article, you want to just press this button here where it says create blog post. So let's just click on that. And this will open the editor where you can create your blog post. You'll notice that it's very similar to how the other pages are laid out in Shopify. So this should be familiar to you if you've used Shopify before. So I want to mention that before you create your blog post articles, I would suggest mapping out the exact post before you start uploading it into Shopify. I usually create a Google Doc where I write out all my copy, make notes of what images I would like to include, and any links to products or opt-ins. For now, I'll just give you an overview of what you can do and how you can create a blog post for your online store. So here at the top, you've got the title. So I'm just gonna add in a title here. So get creative here uh, to captivate your customer's attention and entice them to open up the blog post. Here under content is where you can have a little fun. Instead of just adding your blog post copy, why not add a few images? Click here where it says insert image to insert an image. And instead of just uploading a regular image, why not get creative? Use a free design software like Canva to upload your images with texts and fun overlays to make it more enticing for your blog readers. If you have videos, you can insert them here by just clicking the insert video button. Here are all the formatting buttons. These are pretty generic, so just have a play around with them to get your blog post looking just the way you like it. I'll add a little bit of information and some images now so we can have a little example going. So just below the content section, you have a space to add your excerpt. This is where you can add a summary of the post that will appear on your home page or blog page. To add this, just click here where it says add excerpt, and this is where you would add in your information. If you'd like to add an image to go along with your blog post, um, just scroll up to the top here and see here where it says featured image, just go upload image. 
and then just select the image that you would like. So just below the featured image. So just below the featured image, you can also edit the details of the main blog. Here under organization, you can select and create different authors for your blog just by clicking this here. At the moment, I've just got the one author. You can also create different blogs or add tags if you need to create categories for your blog. Once you've created your blog post and are happy with all the settings and how it looks, head on over to the top here and where it says visibility, you want to set it as visible. So just click that. And then as soon as you save it, it'll upload. If you don't want to publish straight away, you can actually set it to publish at a later date. Just click here where it says set a specific publish date and you can include the date and the time. For now, we'll just leave it as to be published straight away. So let's just go clear date. So once that's all done, let's just hit save. Now, if we're going to have a look at our online store, just click this I button here to open it up as a preview. You'll notice that the blog doesn't appear here in the main navigation, and that's because we still have to add it. And if we just scroll down here, you'll notice that the blog is nowhere to be seen. So let's now go add the blog to our main navigation. So let's go back to our Shopify dashboard and here where it says navigation, just click on navigation and we want to add the blog to our main menu. So in here, we'll just click main menu and let's just scroll down to the bottom here. If you need additional help on setting up your navigation and menus for your Shopify store, check out my video tutorial. I'll leave a link here on the screen and in the description box below so you can check it out later. But for now, let's just add a new blog by clicking here on the main menu and then add menu item. We're going to call it blog. And we want to link it to our new blog. So just click link. And here where it's got blog, you can link it to all of your blog posts or just certain blog posts. But for now, we want to link it to all of our blog articles. So just click blogs and then news because it's created under the news blog. Now we want to click add to add it to our main menu and then we want to save that. Okay, let's check out our updated online store by clicking here on the I button again. And there we have it. Our blog has now been updated into our main menu navigation. So let's click on blog and check out our new article. And here we are. So the title was the my first blog post. That's the image that I uploaded to go along with the excerpt. So that's the excerpt example here. And now let's go to read more to open up the article. In the content, I actually added a couple of different formats too, just so you can get a better example of how it looks. So just um, a couple of different um, heading formats and uh, just regular titles. And then also I added a link in here too. Now, depending on what theme you have um, will depend on how your blog article looks. The good thing about Shopify is that your fonts and your colors, they'll all match up with your online store. So you can have the cohesiveness that you want with a professional online store. Okay, so there we have it friends, a quick and easy tutorial on how to set up your blog for your Shopify store. What kind of content are you planning to upload in your blog for your Shopify store? I would love to hear about it. So please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like this video, then you might be interested in my tutorial video on how to add an Instagram feed to your homepage, as this is a great way to promote your authority and build that know, like, and trust with your potential customers. You can head over and watch that video now by clicking the link in the screen. Okay, I'll see you over there. Bye for now.